So my name is Carl Wormanyik, I'm the training supervisor with Sony Canada. So I'm here today with the exciting new Sony tablet. Um, this is the S1 model. It's going to come in two different variants, in a 16 and 32 gig version. Um, it's going to be launching in mid to late September. We're going to be looking at a price point of $499 and $599 for the 32 gig version. Um, Spec-wise, it's an amazing tablet. Very high resolution screen. It's 9.4 inch, 1280 by 800 resolution, so full high definition resolution, optimized to be able to watch HD 16 by 9 aspect ratio movies on it. So very, very great feature that way. Um, also, it uses the NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor. Um, it makes it extremely fast. This is one of the fastest tablets I've ever used in terms of multitasking, opening up web pages, um, surfing, multitasking. You can do it all with this and it never slows down. But what's really exciting about it is it has all the features that you've probably come to notice with most tablets on the market. But what we've done is we've kind of innovated it and basically put all of Sony's innovations into one. We've done something that no other tablet manufacturer can do that we worked with all of our different product groups from Bravia. If you look at the tablet, it's designed just like our monolithic Bravia TVs. It's a whole seamless black slate. Um, Anti-reflective coating when you turn it on, minimal reflection whatsoever. Fantastic viewing angle, you'll be able to put this in the back seat of a car with children, they'll be able to watch on it, no problem. Um, and also the fact that you're going to get the most impactful visual experience just to the fact that we're using Bravia technology in the actual screen. Um, partner with some of the other things that we've done with Android, we've tweaked it quite a bit. So what we've done is we've put in a couple unique Sony features. Um, we have the Sony Reader basically built right into the tablet. So if you own one of our personal reader devices, you can actually go in and sync all of your existing books onto here. And because it's a full Wi-Fi device, as you download new books, it shows up right on your Sony tablet. So that is a really, really cool feature that you'll be able to actually access. It's about a $200 piece of technology to buy on its own. It's built right into the tablet. The other great thing is that this tablet is actually PlayStation certified. So what we've done is actually we've worked with the PlayStation divi division and we've preloaded out of the box games like Crash Bandicoot, a game called Pinball Heroes, and I can go in and because of how this is laid out, it'll allow me to actually go in and fully play full PlayStation 1 and PSP games optimized for the tablet. So if you see here, I have all the controls just like I would on a normal PlayStation controller and I have full access to be able to go in and play all of my PlayStation 1 and PSP games. So this will be an app that I'll be able to download from the PlayStation Network Store and all these games are going to be optimized for the Sony tablet. So Will it work on the Xperia Play also? It works very similar to the Xperia Play, so it's kind of built off the same platform. Will uh, it play Xperia Play optimized games? I can't confirm. Um, the games will be optimized for the tablet because of the larger screen, uh, but it's a very similar experience to what you'll get on the Xperia. So the games will be optimized for the tablet. So you'll have access to thousands of exclusive PlayStation and PSP games um, right on your Sony tablet. So if you're a gamer, this is something that's definitely going to intrigue a lot of people. I showed this to my cousin this weekend, four-year-old. He couldn't stop playing. I couldn't pull it away from him for an hour. So really, really cool that you have that full interface built right in. Some of the other really neat things that you can do with the tablet too is because it's Android, it's fully customizable. Um, you can do some really cool things with widgets and things like that. But we do have a lot of unique pieces built in out of the box with it too. I mentioned the Reader Store. The other really exciting service from the PlayStation service is our service called Video Unlimited. And what we've done is we've leveraged our Sony Bravia TVs again and we launched a service six months ago that allowed users that have Bravia, Blu-ray player, or home theater system to stream movies right to their TV. We have a partnership with the six major studios and every Tuesday when movies come out on Blu-ray or DVD, they launch on our service and you'll be able to stream movies in HD and SD right to your Sony tablet. So we've leveraged another service from our Bravia side and built it right into the tablet. So I talked about the reader, I talked about the video service, PlayStation services built into it as well. Some of the other things that are really neat too is we've built in a remote control. So it has an infrared remote built right in and it's a full universal programmable remote. So not a Sony remote, a full universal remote. We actually sell the same remote with a similar interface on a smaller screen at Sony stores for $200. It's built right into the tablet. So now imagine going into your living room and being able to bring up your whole television interface and being able to control everything off your TV. You can simply hit a button here. It's going to switch over to my home theater system. 
get another button that can go to my network speaker, and that's my cable box interface for my Rogers PVR. So I have full adaptability for any type of device in my home. I can move from my living room to my kitchen to my bedroom, and anything that has a remote, I'll be able to actually program and use with this universal remote that's built into the Can I tablet. customize the buttons? The buttons are preset, so it's all, all the codes are done in here, but it is a full learning remote. So if you do have a remote control that you can't configure, you will be able to put the two of them together and actually teach it, and then you can customize it. But I won't be able to, say, remove the numbers if no, I don't want them. No, you don't have that kind of control. Okay. Um, but if you did go and actually program the remote manually, you would be able to actually go and customize which buttons you want. Oh, okay. But we've developed it in a way that for people that want to keep it simple, you go in and register your device, you go to easy registration, and the way we've done it is no matter what product you have, you can see we have pretty much every brand under the sun in here. You can go in, set it, go in next, and it's going to give you what different types of remotes. So there, in this particular device, there's two different remote styles. You test which one it works, you save it, and that's going to be your interface. So very unique in the way it's actually set up. So that's a huge value add for customers because they'll be able to control all of their devices right off the Sony tablet. Another really neat feature is actually I want to bring you over to another room that we have here. I want to show you how this remote actually works in action. Sure. But we also have a feature that allows you to push content to DLNA devices. So let's step into the other room. And once you connect to your personal home network, as long as your other devices are connected, so like your DLNA television or DLNA home theater system, speaker system, what it's going to allow you to do is you can actually go into, for example, your gallery. And this is where all of your digital photos are going to be stored. So I can go in and look at my photos. One really neat thing too that if they're geotagged, it shows you a worldwide map and you can actually scroll through photos by just hitting the location in the world and it'll show you all the photos. As good as this screen is with 9.4 inches, one really cool thing that you can do is there's a push feature available. And I hit this little button in the corner and what it's going to do now is it's going to connect with the other Wi-Fi devices that are connected to my network. So you can see here it's found my little home share speaker and after a second or two it's going to find my 55 inch XBR TV. I can take my finger, swipe it over to the TV and you're going to see in a second here this image is going to disappear and the picture is going to come up on the screen. So it takes about 10 seconds for the first establishment and once the photo's on there it's done. And what's really cool is I'll be able to go in on the tablet and I can actually scroll through all the photos that are on my tablet. So this is a very unique feature. You can be sitting in your living room and pushing content, if it's photos, videos, or music, right to your DLNA compliant device. While so here's the music player. So you can actually go and interact with all the album art that's in here. If I want to select a particular artist, I can go and push the push, hit the push button. It found my little home share speaker, which is in the corner. That's a little Wi-Fi speaker that we sell. And I can go to the tablet and I'll swipe my finger over to the speaker and it's going to make that pairing connection and within seconds it's going to start playing the song right off that little network speaker. And because of the fact that I have that universal remote control built right in, I'll actually be able to go and actually control that speaker by turning up the volume, turning it down, all off the Sony tablet and go back and forth between that speaker. And for example, I can disconnect and go back to my television to do photo streaming, media streaming, or I can even simply disconnect this and go stream it to another part of my house, say for example to the television. It's going to go back in and actually send it now to my TV to play through my home theater system. What's great too is with this interface, it actually is going to show all the cover art, all the artist info, all on the TV screen while it's playing through the home theater speakers. So very, very unique application in addition to the remote control that's built into the tablet as well. And what's great as well this is playing, I can actually go in and still multitask. I can start playing a PlayStation game, all of that. So I talked about the multitasking ability. I'm streaming and I'm playing the game at the same time. Um, one of the other things about the Sony Tablet 2 is it has a very iconic design. We've actually developed it almost like a folded sheet of paper. And we've done that to make it recognizable as the Sony Tablet, but also has a lot to do with the ergonomics. This is actually one of the few tablets that's very comfortable to hold in one hand. It's very lightweight, weighs in at 590 grams, but we've set it up in a way that you can actually hold it in landscape mode, and also seamlessly put it into portrait mode and hold it very easily. So having that design makes it very easy to hold, gives it a distinguishable iconic design, but 
Furthermore, things like the screen resolution is fantastic. It's optimized for watching HD movies on um, 1280 by 800 resolution, so perfect for HD. But connectivity-wise, we do have some great connectivity too. All of your power and volume controls are over here on this side. When you, you have a stereo speaker, most tablets on the market are mono, you have your left and right speakers on each side. And when you flip it over to the other side, there's your headphone jack. And here is where you can actually go and open up and you have a USB connection, which allows you to be able to connect with an optional accessory. You can plug in your digital camera, for example, your movie camera, and transfer files right from your camera on holidays right to your tablet. It also does have an SD card slot and this is what you use to transfer files from your computer to the tablet. You load up your, your SD card with photos, videos and music, plug it into the tablet and transfer those files right onto your tablet. So very easy connectivity. There's really no need to ever have to establish a connection between your tablet and your computer because of all the wireless connectivity you have and the connectivity through the SD card slot and the mini USB on this side. So very simple interface in that sense um, and this makes it very easy for you to be able to go in and control all these features right on the Sony tablet. So does it have any enhanced video playback capabilities? It will play back pretty much any format they can throw at. So it will play back Sony's ABC HD format um, and pretty much every resolution of MPEG from MPEG 1 to MPEG 4, WMV, AVI. Uh, we can pretty much play back everything but um, MKV. It's really the only format that I've seen that you can't play back on the tablet. So in terms of media support, um, it has some of the largest support for video files, music files. You can play FLAC files on here, which really blew me away. Um, and photo files as high as TIFF, JPEG, all of it's there.